Good morning, guys. I got a kid-free day today, and I'm going to bring you along with me. Come on. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today I have a kid-free day. Juan is taking Aubrey to go see his parents and do some stuff at their house. And I get to be here at my parents' house and get some stuff done for myself. And I thought I would bring you along with me. We're going to be doing some interesting things today. Um, my mom has a... And I fly like gift card thing. So it's like indoor skydiving. So I'm going to go with her and show you guys what that's like. We're going to shop. We're going to do some crafts. And tomorrow is Aubrey's half birthday. And I'm all about celebrating whenever you can. <laughs> so I think if I still have time, I'm going to try to make a little funny half birthday cake just because I want to bake and why not you know why not have cake so yeah let me get dressed and we're gonna be heading out soon to go to the iFly and maybe go do some shopping so let's go do that okay so I'm almost done getting ready and I slept with my hair like partially wet in a bun and I just needed to show you guys because I never like I don't know wear my hair down um like I kind of feel like I could probably just wear it like this and be good if I wanted to have like a kind of curly, wavy hair day. I don't know. Not really important, but it's going to go up in a ponytail anyways. I just want to give you guys a little glimpse because you never get to see my hair down. But later I will be styling it because I am filming a new outro video today, which will be at the end of this video. So you guys will really get to see it down. But anyways... Let's get back to what's more important, breakfast. Okay, sorry about the AC. This morning, I am going to be having some of our coffee cake, Jewish coffee cake that I made. I will link the link, I will link the link. I will link the recipe up above in case you guys wanna check out that video. And while we're at the fridge getting it out, let me show you, I did reorganize yet again after that previous video. Let me show you what I did. So all this stuff down here was originally all the way up there, which is right at eye level. So instead I moved it down and now we're working with these three little shelves and this is what we normally use from. It's easier to grab. And we've got like all of our breads, our eggs, Juan's meats, some extra condiments and like leftovers and then our drinks. So it just makes life a little bit easier to just grab and go. Doesn't this look delicious? What I like to do is pretty much heat it up in the microwave for about 15 seconds and it comes out like perfect, just warm and enjoyable to eat. All right, we're all ready and on our way. Let's go shopping and skydiving. So I am with my mommy. Say hi, mom. Hey. <laughs> We are at the Ontario Mills Mall and we're just going to be looking around. So we'll show you if we find anything fun. A woman's worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that looks disgusting. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. I ended up getting that little silicone thing for probably our shower to like hang razors in, even though I won't 
you know, obviously be using it for makeup brushes like it's supposed to be used for. And then I got Aubrey that little dinosaur blanket because we like dinosaurs right now. We're playing dinosaurs, so why not get a little costume for her? And then I couldn't resist getting that little octopus because it is so adorable. I saw it on TikTok and I don't know, I just kind of figured why not? But now it is time to go watch my mom skydive. So let's go do that. There she goes, getting ready. All right, what are your expectations, mom? My heart's beating fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck with the Velcro. Gotta get my suit on. Looking professional. <laughs> I feel like an astronaut. We just watched uh, Apollo, Apollo 13. 13. I feel like <laughs> I'm one of the astronauts. I stopped filming right when the wind stopped and he came just out through the door, like perfectly. He like came and just right outside, perfectly landed and everything.
that was a lot of fun. My mom had fun in her three flights. Uh, it was about four minutes of flying time total. And now we're heading home. I'm gonna pick up a Starbucks and then work on some crafts. And I'm gonna pick up a Starbucks, but get it like $2 off. And I will link that video up above because that is a must see. Uh, it's how I save money on my mobile orders, or you could even order this in store. It's just a little bit more words you have to use. And um, get that and enjoy that at home, and then I'll check in with you guys soon. So we're still on our way to get my coffee, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I had shared this little item from a Dollar Tree haul um, in a previous video, just maybe a couple weeks ago. And I wanted to show you guys what they look like and uh, I've already had some before obviously and I picked up a whole lot more uh, in a recent trip. So they actually freeze dry the entire strawberry. They're not like slices. So it's a nice like big crunch. And I want to say I did a little bit of research. These bags are 0.6 ounces each. You get a handful of strawberries in there and you know Dollar Tree this is one dollar. I looked on Amazon for freeze dried strawberries like to see if there's like a bulk pack and I can't say that any of the items that I found online were actually a better deal than Dollar Tree. So if you know if you can find like freeze dried strawberries in bulk for less than a dollar for 0.6 ounces, let me know because otherwise I'll just have to keep getting these from Dollar Tree. They're a really great deal and very delicious. And for this entire bag, only 60 calories, which is important to me. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on that and I'll check in when I'm doing my crafts at home. All right, you guys, I am checking in. Uh, my Starbucks is almost done for the day. It's delicious. I just finished my first craft, which if you are a loyal subscriber and already watched my trying TikToks series, where I make the candles. That was my last craft. If you haven't, go and check it out. I will link it up above. But let me just kind of show you the final product. I will also have the tutorial on my crafting channel if you just want a short and sweet tutorial on that one too. So I went ahead and made two candles. This one was the highlight of my trying TikToks series video. It's still kind of cooling. And then this one I made for my crafting channel. I did mention that uh, when you guys are making these, it's best to use two candles in one container rather than split them up because it only goes up halfway. But I didn't know that and that's okay. I think this will still turn out okay and I could always add another scent or something on top. But now I have to move on to my next craft before we head out to dinner with my sister and her family. But before I do, this is what I screenshotted or this is where I stopped my show as I was watching. Not the most flattering face, but one I make all the time. So my next craft that I will be working on, and again, the tutorial will be on my Lima Bean Crafting channel, is making a craft using the yarn from Dollar Tree, my haul recently, as well as this awesome stick that we found at the park the other day. And I'm making it for my nephew. It's gonna have like feathers hanging down. So I'm gonna get started working on that. I probably will have to finish it later tonight but I will show you guys the final product once I'm done. And I totally had a goal today of like making my daughter's half birthday cake. <laughs> um, I think I'm probably gonna have to hold off until late tonight to do that or make it tomorrow, but I really wanna make it tonight. I feel like today is like my day to get stuff done. So if I don't get that done tonight, I will at least take a picture and show you guys sometime in this video what it ended up looking like, but that's kind of my goal for the day. I may have overshot my expectations, but I gotta get working on these crafts because we're gonna be leaving soon. So this is how far I got before we had to leave. It is taking a while, so I won't finish this today and probably be at least one or two nap times, but it's turning into a feather and I'm gonna have uh, at least three other ones hanging from this as well. So I think my nephew will like it. I'm also using the same colors that I used here with the rainbow. And so like, if you wanna make something like this for yourself, you could hang the rainbow and then have feathers alongside it just to kind of change it up a bit. But because it is a Friday in Lent for us, we are gonna be grabbing some fish sandwiches from McDonald's and heading over to my sister's house. We'll probably play Among Us, which is one of my favorite games right now. 
and just have a good time. But I probably won't film that much there, so I will check in when we get back to our house here. It is late. We just got back home. We didn't play Among Us, which I was a little bummed about, but it was enjoyable to be with my family and not have to worry if my daughter is getting into trouble or not. So uh, I think I just way overbooked myself and put high expectations on what I wanted to get done today. So I'm gonna curl my hair, I'm gonna videotape my little end video right now because I definitely wanna get that done. So let's curl my hair. Like I mentioned in a previous video, my hair is like perfect for styling, but I am the worst person to have this perfect hair because I never like to style it in the first place. So yeah. I wish I could trade, you know, with someone who just has it like straight all the time or like curly where you just put in some product and you're good to go. But you know what? God bless me with this. So I'm going to accept it. One of two layers done. Six curls. Time for the top. Hopefully I can well, get this. Let's, I mean, let, let me adjust how much like. No, it's perfect like that. Okay. Okay, so it is before 10 o'clock. We just finished my little one take go for the end of this video. The lighting was a little harsh, so my mom had to step in and help me out, but it is done. Now I just gotta see if I can make some cake tonight or if I should just go working on my feathers. So I might take it easy on myself, see if we have a box cake. Yeah, let's see if what we have and what I have to work with. All right, my mom helped me come up with a solution. So I found a yellow box cake that we had on hand. I originally bought it to make like a dump cake, which I have made before, and I'll link that video above because it is delicious. But I figured this would be an easy way to go, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to make homemade chocolate buttercream. And my mom reminded me that I have some frozen buttercream from a while ago. I made this with like chocolate chips, sweetened condensed milk, and I think butter. So it is kind of a buttercream, but the sweetened condensed milk did give it like a different flavor. It was very subtle, but it needs to be used up. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this get defrosting and we're gonna make one round cake and then about 12 cupcakes. And then I will show you guys how I decorate it. So it is now past midnight. We're already in another day of this day in the life. I'm about to get ready for bed. I did want to show you guys how this thing works out. So I'll stick it on the mirror and show you guys in this little voiceover. 
but I would really like to thank you for watching this video and joining me in my kid-free day. I am proud of myself for what I accomplished. I'm bummed I didn't get to work more on my feathers, but my cakes are done. The day was fun and I'm hoping I get another one in the near future. Please don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.